Hey guys, so a classmate asked, what is Bayesian Nash Equilibrium? To begin, we first have to understand what a Bayesian game is. In the majority of games we've explored so far, all players had common knowledge regarding the payoffs, preferences, or strategies of their opponents, so that when we mapped out the game's extensive forms or payoff matrix, it's assumed that the players themselves had this information as well. However, when players may or may not know certain information about the other players, a game is said to have incomplete information, which is what occurs in a Bayesian game. In a Bayesian game, certain information about the players is private, and that only the individual player knows what they will do next, which can affect how the game will be continued. When players are not sure about the game they are playing, we have to understand two things about these games. First, random events are now considered an act of nature that determines the game's structure. And second, we have to treat nature itself as another non-strategic player, and therefore we need to represent nature's decision nodes in the extensive form of the game as well. So to summarize, a Bayesian game is a modification of a standard game in which nature initially moves by endowing players with private information. It's important to note that depending on the game, players may or may not be able to actually observe nature's actions. Bayes' Nash Equilibrium, or Bayesian Equilibrium, is a solution concept for a Bayesian game, with a strategy profile that prescribes optimal behavior for each and every type of player, given the other player's strategies and given beliefs about other players' types. To further understand this concept, let's look at an example game. Let's say player 1 wants to invite player 2 to the movies. Player 1 likes to watch horror movies while player 2 likes historical dramas. However, player 1 is unsure if player 2 will even want to come with them to the movies. We can represent the scenario by assigning player 2 with two types, one that wishes to go to the movies and the other that does not. If player 2's type or nature is to go to the movies, the payoff matrix is as follows, based on the player's movie's preferences. If player 2's type or nature is not to want to go to the movies, the payoff matrix is as follows, again based on their preferences for movies, but now with different values due to the fact that player 2 doesn't want to go to the movies at all. Because player 1 is unsure of player 2's preferences, this is an Bayesian game, where player 1 is unsure of the payoffs for player 2 and therefore does not know which version of the game they are playing. It's crucial to understand that player 2 does know which game it is, however, since their choices are the ones that determine the state of the game. Player 1 thinks that there's a 50-50 chance that player 2 will want to go to the movies, and so there's a 1 half probability they're playing the game on the left, and a 1 half probability they're playing the game on the right. We can represent this game in the extensive form, or game tree format, as follows. Here we can see that the nodes circled represent the single information set for the players, which helps showcase that player 1 is unaware which game they're playing. Remember that an information set establishes all the possible moves that could have taken place in the game so far, given what that player has observed. To find a Bayesian Nash equilibrium, we have to test the available strategy profiles of the players to see if they are the best possible responses in these scenarios. Let us consider the following strategy profile, HHD, which means that player 1 will play H, and while in state 1, where player 2's nature is yes to movies, player 2 will also play H, and in state 2, where player 2's nature is saying no to movies, player 2 will play D. To check for best responses, we can calculate each player's expected payoffs based on these strategy profiles. Starting with player 1's payoff, we look at the extensive form of our game and follow the decision notes, starting with the decision HH, as seen when player's 2 nature is yes to movies, which gets us a payoff of 2. Since the state of yes happens with a probability of 1 half, we multiply our payoff by that probability. Then we look at the decision HD, as seen when player 2's nature is no to movies, which gets us a payoff of 0. We again multiply our payoff by 1 half, since the state of no also happens with the probability of 1 half, and sum these values, with a final expected payoff of 1. If player 1 deviates from the strategy profile and chooses D instead of H, we see that in the state that player 2 says yes to movies, their new payoff is 0, which will again be multiplied by 1 half. We then add this value to the payoff DD when player 2 says no to movies, which is 1, which then is also multiplied by 1 half. Therefore, the expected payoff is 1 half. We see the strategy profile of HHD has a higher expected payoff than DHD, and so HHD is our Bayesian Nash equilibrium. If we wanted to, we could calculate the expected payoffs for player 2 in these scenarios, repeating the previous steps, but this time using the payoffs of the second row, which we see again shows that HHD has a higher expected payoff than DHD, making it our Bayesian Nash equilibrium. I hope this video helped you to learn more about Bayesian games and Bayesian Nash equilibrium.